everybody, this is Laura and Arnie with Crazy Cool Cakes. And we're so glad you're here with us today. We want to first start off by apologizing for not putting out a video last week. As promised, our workload around here has been, Woo! thank God, really, really good. So we did not have time to create a video, but we're here this week with the next video in our Cake Biz series. And as promised, we're going to be talking about and teaching you all how to charge correctly for the decorations on your cakes. Before we get into the topic of today's video, we want to start off by just reading a few awesome comments from you all. And we just want to thank you guys again for leaving such wonderful comments. We really enjoy reading what you all think about these videos and what you have to say about them. And we really appreciate it when you take the time to thank us for everything that you guys have been learning and we're just really, really happy Love that, the it's, yeah, that yeah. it's helping you all. So I just want to give a few shout outs. I want to start by reading a comment by Carolina Figueroa. Hi, Carolina. And she says, Laura and Arnie, I have been your follower for many years. Thank you very much for everything you teach us. You opened my eyes a few years ago and I changed many things about how I do my business. One thing I learned from you is not to be afraid hmm. of valuing my work and that there will be many no's before we get the right yes. Every time I watch your videos, I learn something new. God bless you always. Oh. Thank you, Carolina. God bless you too. And that right there is, I think, is so yeah. awesome. I mean, if anything, guys, what I would love for everyone to get out of these videos is just not to be afraid. Just be confident in yourself. Don't doubt yourself. And, right. you know, just... Get rid of that self-doubt. Get rid of the self-doubt. And remember that you've been given this talent for a reason. You got to use it. Use it to the max. So thank you, Carolina, for that wonderful comment. Here's another awesome comment from Laura Villafani. Hey, Laura. Mis ojos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she says, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome, Laura. <laughs> I just realized I don't charge enough for my cakes. What a deal they have been getting. I will be doing my list today. She's talking about the levels of intricacy that we did in the last video. I'll be doing my list today and charging new prices from tomorrow on. Thank you again. You're very welcome, Laura. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy that you watched that video. And it's just wonderful to know that you're going to be doing things differently. And I promise you it's the right move. And you're not going to regret it. Absolutely not. Okay, this next awesome comment is from Sol Aldana. Hi, Sol. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Another which, one. Which Sol means son. Right. Right, that's a cool name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. You're, You're very, very welcome. welcome. <laughs> and as you guys know, it's our pleasure to do these videos. We love, love, love helping. I think that's what we were put on this earth yeah, to do. Yeah, to just help people. Is to help. We have fun doing what we do, but it's just awesome that in everything that we do, mm -hmm. it's helping the other people. We're learning how to do it, and then once we learn how to do it, we can teach people how to do right. it. Because we love our life. We have an awesome life. We have a lot of fun, mm -hmm. and then we just love knowing that you guys are benefiting from everything Absolutely. that we're learning. That's so awesome. Okay, so she says, these videos have been so helpful. My daughter works with me and after explaining to her what I learned in your last video, she started to get more involved in the business and we are now more confident giving out prices that make us feel like we are earning what we deserve. Mm. That's awesome. She says, saludos desde Juarez Vecinos. So she's in Juarez, she's right over the really? Rio Grande. She's we can right throw a rock. Okay, so you're very, very welcome. That's so awesome to hear that your daughter yeah. works with you. And again, just really wonderful to know that you guys are gaining the confidence that you need to start charging correctly for your work. That's so wonderful. And this last one is from, and not that it's the last one, but just the last one that we're going to mention in this video, Virginia Arceo. Hi, Virginia. Virginia was actually in the April webinar. She's awesome. So she says, Laura and Arnie, love, love, love these videos. You two have opened my eyes. My family has been telling me I'm not charging enough and to stop giving my cakes away. I can't wait for Sunday's webinar. So I, she left that comment, I guess, right before the webinar. You're very, very welcome, Virginia. Thank you for participating in April's webinar. And now that nice we- segue. Yeah, now that we mentioned the webinar, we are now registering for May 28th webinar. And it's already more than half full. Yep. So if you guys would like to receive one-on-one -on -one help, it's a very uh, limited, limited amount of spots. And so if you guys need any help at all with the cake pricing techniques, knowing how to grow your business, how to acquire great clients, just how to run a peaceful, stress-free business. And of course, we focus mainly 
on cake pricing techniques, but the a webinar, lot of a lot of detail, a lot of help. I mean, every single person that's taken this webinar with us says that it really is a life changer. Very highly recommended if any of you need one-on-one -on -one help with your cake business, with knowing how to charge, if you need encouragement, if you need that boost to take your business to the next level, that's the purpose of the webinar. So if you're interested in finding out more information on it or if you'd like to go ahead and register, you can find a link to that underneath the video. Here are a few comments from some of our subscribers that I would just like to answer. So this first one is from Judy Bigney. Hi Judy. And she says, do you publicize your prices? I have people asking me for my price list. What is your recommendation on how to do this? And this is a wonderful question it because is. this is actually something that we talk about a lot in our webinars. And so the answer to Judy's question is no, we never publicize our prices. Especially when it comes to, you know, the the price per serving for certain types of designs and techniques. We never ever publicize our prices. What I always tell my cake pricing webinar participants is what you charge per serving for your work is nobody's business. The only one that needs to know what you charge per serving for different types of techniques or designs or cakes is you. The list that we created in the last video that had the levels of mm -hmm. intricacy, that price per serving is just for you. It's just to make it easy for you to be able to very quickly come up with a quote for a potential client. The client does not at all need to know what you charge per serving. That is completely right. unnecessary. It's kind of awkward. I think that a client would even ask what they charge per serving. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because I've gotten that question a lot and all the years that we've been in business, not once has a client ever asked us what we charge per serving. Right. And so really the client, all they want to know is what is the cake going to cost? What's the bottom line? Can I afford it? Yeah. And so what I told Judy is the only thing that she needs to know is the final cost of the cake. And then you present that cost to the client. Can the client afford it? Is it within their budget? And if it's not, then, you know, tweak the design, lower the number of servings, simplify, do what you have to do, and then you just present that new quote. So hopefully that answers your question, Judy. It's unnecessary for people to ask you the price per serving, and it's unnecessary to let them know what you charge per serving. Just very quickly, since I have it right now in my mind, a lot of my participants, and I know many of you have Facebook pages or have websites, where you have actually publicly posted prices for your cakes. I've even seen some cake people that they'll have a picture of a cake on mm -hmm. a Facebook page with an actual dollar amount right next to it. Whoa. So uh, that's a very, very dangerous place to be. I always suggest if you are a custom cake artist like us, like many of you. Every single cake is custom. Every single cake is custom. Every cake is a different number of servings. It's a good idea not to publicly post even prices for entire cakes. So we deal with one client at a time, one phone call at a time, one quote at a time, right? Like the Rocky hey, movie. You sound like Rocky, one step at a time, one punch <laughs> at a time, one round at a time. Let's go. We, we saw the movie Creed the other day and that's all I've been hearing is Sylvester Stallone impersonation. Hey, absolutely. But yeah, one phone call at a time, one quote at a time, one client at a time. You one do not, cake at a time. One cake at a time. One you, decoration at a time. One decoration at a time. You don't want to publicly post prices or serving costs for anything because then people start wanting to do the math on their own in their head and then when you quote them a different price because now you've learned how to charge correctly for your work. They start wanting to do the math yeah. themselves and then they don't get it. Well, why are you not quoting me according to what you yeah. said? You must be using the Chinese math. Yeah, some, <laughs> something else. So, I mean, if you want my best advice, uh, you know, we have and been, they do. we've been running a successful cake business now for many years. And again, guys, these videos are to help you now. Mm -hmm. If you want to continue, uh, doing it a different way, more power to you. Of course, everyone has free will and you're free to do whatever <laughs> you'd like. Now, if you have an actual bakery, that's totally different. Yeah, people are walking in. Right, people are walking in just to buy a sheet cake or just to buy a dozen cupcakes, then of course, yeah. prices, you know, like on a menu and things like that sure. make complete sense. But for custom cakes where right. the servings are always different, the design and the techniques are different, the hand sculpting the decorations the are different, because every cake is different, that's why it's such a wonderful idea to learn how to charge correctly mm -hmm. for your work. That way, 
The cake pressing techniques are always the same and they can be applied to every single different cake that That's you right. do. All right, so hopefully that helps, Judy. This next awesome question is from Joy Ekpen. Hi, Joy. And she says, hello, Laura and Arnie. What do you think about referral discounts? Do you offer any in your business? Thanks in advance for answering. You're very welcome, Joy. And I actually didn't answer the comment, but I'll, I'll just let you all know what I told her. I said discounts, never, ever, ever. Okay, now I know that a lot of people like to give discounts, but what I told her is Whenever you give a discount, you are basically giving your work away for free. And so the entire point of all of these video series is to teach you all how to know how to charge correctly for your work so that you're not giving your work and stay, away for and free. And stay firm. And stay firm. So what I told Joy is that you don't need to give discounts in order to gain more business. You don't need to give discounts in order to become a successful cake business. Well, I want to say that the referrals are coming because they liked your cake. Exactly. So That's the way you want referrals to come, mm -hmm. is people refer you to other people just simply because your cakes are awesome. Again, if you want to give discounts, remember you're giving away your work for free. And if you want to give your work away for free, you all defend your right <laughs> to continue to give your work away for free. But really, well, where's that gun you? <laughs> I know, and, and really you need to ask yourself, okay, what is the purpose of the discount? Why am I giving a discount? Mm. Are you giving a discount because you think that that's somehow gonna hook somebody into ordering from they're you? They're already hooked. Or they're going, to, you're gonna somehow convince them to order from you again? They're already convinced. Yeah, if your cake is good, if the work is good and the artwork is good, you don't need to do any convincing. You don't need to do any uh, brainwashing. You don't need to do any any hooking of anything. No, no manipulation, no nothing. Right. Just the work should speak for itself. Work. The the type of rapport that you have with your client, mm -hmm. okay? Professionalism. The, your professionalism. That is what brings new clients and the kind of clients you want. Because they're not used to that. Right. And especially, guys, if people are asking you for discounts, those are exactly the kind of people that you do not want as clients. Again, it all comes back to valuing your time, valuing your work, your worth, and not giving your work away for free. And letting them see that you're like that. Exactly. So again, if you want to give discounts, that is completely up to you. But really analyze the situation and, and look at, you know, if you have been giving discounts in the past, ask yourself, okay, really how much has that improved my business? Mm. Giving discounts, has that really brought in much more money? What has that done for you? What has it done for you lately? So hopefully that helps, Joy. And uh, again, so the answer to the question is no. We never ever give discounts, never. Not for anything, not ever. And this leads us into our next comment question and kind of leads us into what we're talking about okay. today. And this is from Yesenia Castañeda. Hi, Yesenia. And she says, for the next video, I have this question. I usually make cake toppers like people or animals, and my hubby said that I should charge more than what I do for them. A lot of husbands are smart out there. A lot there. of husbands <laughs> are very, very smart, okay? And so, and like we had said in a previous video, if your husband tells you you're not charging enough, you're not. You're not. So she says, I charge $10 to $25 for them. How much do you guys think I should charge? How much again? 10 to $25. And she's talking about human figures and animals. And, animals. and she's charging 10 and 25. Nice. Okay, so. We wanna help you. And we're gonna help. First I wanna address the very end of her question which says how much do you guys think I should charge? That's hmm. a question that we get a lot. People asking us, Basically, they want us to tell them how much they should charge. Right. And this again, guys, like we've mentioned in just about every single video, yeah. it is impossible for us to tell you what you, the individual cake artist, should be charging for your cakes and for your work. That is the purpose of the cake pricing techniques. Everybody will be charging differently. That's right. But everybody needs to be valuing their own time. Everybody has to establish what they feel one hour of their time is worth and so you know we keep talking about the same thing in every video how valuable and significant it is to know what one hour of your time is worth 
I said it in the very first video. Yep. If you don't know what one hour of your time is worth, you will never, ever, 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 ever know how to charge for your cakes or for your cake toppers. So I wish uh, you were here, Yesenia, because I would ask you, how much do you feel one hour of your time is worth? Did you, did you get the cake artist guide? And did you actually arrive at what you feel one hour of your time is worth? So this is an excellent opportunity to plug once again, once again. our Cake Artist Guide. For those of you that have yet to purchase your Cake Artist Guide, and some of you have purchased it but haven't done it yet, okay? So I would recommend Very important. do it right away because the sooner you do it, the, the quicker you will Move know, on. you know, what types of things you need to be taking into mm -hmm. consideration when it comes to charging for your work. So if she were to tell me, well, I have no idea, well, then that's you why you don't know what you should be charging. Okay, so yes, we're going to be covering that today. But again, guys, very, very important. And if this is the first video that you're watching in this series, please go back oh, to man. the very first video and watch everything in sequence. Not sequence, like I said in the last <laughs> video. For those of you that saw the last video, we were Apologize. talking about <laughs> levels of intricacy, and one of them was handmade sequins, but I wrote sequins, so like you said, my, right. my hands were working faster than my brain. <laughs> yes, I know how to spell the word sequins. So, okay. Thanks, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. But anyways, um, so Yesenia, how much do I think you should charge for your cake toppers? Well, first, tell me what is one hour of your time worth. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know that, then you need to get your cake artist guide and you need to figure it out, okay? And within the guide, and, and for those of you that still are struggling with this, this is an excellent, excellent time to again mention the webinar, guys. So important. Mm -hmm. For those of you that need to know what one hour of your time is worth, if you need my help finding that information out, I'm more than happy to do it, and that's the beginning of everything. Yeah, and I love the, the people in the webinar where they come out of it and they're like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're just like astounded at how much they learned in that in that time. Yeah, not just that, but it, imagine how it's like a load oh, it's off a load. your shoulders yeah. when you finally realize what you should be charging for your work. And this is an excellent topic, the cake decorations, because for those of you also that have um, dreams of having your own shop, online shop, and selling your cake toppers. Mm. I mean, imagine the opportunities. Now, you are not just limited to serving people in your area and in your city. Now, you open the doors to having customers on the entire planet. Yeah, I tell people in the stores all the time, I said, I show them cakes on the phone, and I said, the cakes are local, but we send decorations all over the world. All over the world, and so... And they go, wow. Yeah, like, and, yeah. It, and it really wow. is a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful thing, man. We talk about this stuff so much in the webinar. Yeah. I mean, taking advantage of a cake, you can also offer the decorations for sale to Don't give it away. All over the world. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. <laughs> so the next thing I want to address about Yesenia's comment is where she says, I charge 10 to $25 for them. So just from that alone, Yesenia, without even looking at your work, I can already tell you that you are seriously undercharging for your cake toppers. 10 to $25 for a handmade, 3D, hand sculpted, any type of decoration is, is highway robbery. That is the purpose of today's video. We're gonna teach you all how to charge for your cake decorations. So how do we charge for decorations? The most important thing you need to know is what is one hour of your time mm. worth, okay? Can't stress it enough. Can't stress it enough. This is not a typical business, guys. This is not a factory or some type of a business where the products are made by a machine or a robot. It's not you can't just, better. Yeah, you can't just spit out a cake. You can't just spit out handmade decorations. And because this is an artistic type of business, mm. it's a custom That's good. type of business, you need to know what one hour of your time is worth. And then on top of that, as an artist, you have the discretion right. of you saying, you're the one that determines what your work is worth. If you think something is more valuable than what other people are offering, you as the artist have the right wow. to Good. dictate what you feel one of your creations is worth. Like my, my father, right. okay? my dad, very well-known artist here in the Southwest. He paints a painting and he is the one that decides this painting is worth this much this artwork right nobody has the right to come and tell him oh come on you shouldn't be charging that much for your painting <laughs> no 
He's the artist. He knows how much work went into that, that painting. He has a right to determine the worth and the value. All of you that make custom cakes, you're an artist. And like we've mentioned before, cake is just cake. That's just flour and sugar and eggs and extract mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. What makes a custom cake a custom cake is the decorations, right. the handmade 3D decorations. The amount of time that you're spending creating the decorations to make that cake look more than just a, right. a Walmart cake or a bakery <laughs> cake, right. okay? That's why we're called custom cake artists. Once you know what one hour of your time is worth, and you did the cake artist night. We hope you did. And you know what one hour of your time is worth, now you can learn how to charge correctly for your decorations. So for example, let's just say somebody wants to order a little baby shower cake. Okay. Okay. And the baby shower cake is simple, polka dots. So you guys already know how to charge for a polka dot cake because you already did your levels of intricacy. Right, your chart. Right, your, your chart. You already figured out, okay, the cake is going to cost this much. Now how much do I charge for the little teddy bear that's on top of the cake? Let's pretend that okay. we're the cake artist and we're figuring out what should we charge. So. If we're someone that is just starting out, and a lot of the participants that I've had in my webinar that are just starting out, a lot of them have decided that right now, at this Cause level, because I'm, I'm just starting right now at this level, their time is worth, let's say, $20 an hour. Okay. Okay? Which, in my opinion, nobody should be making less than that. Okay. okay? Even if you're just starting out. That's okay? a good point. Let's just say that you take a look at the, the little teddy bear. And you say, okay, I think I can get that done in two hours. It's a really cute, very detailed teddy bear. Okay. okay. So if the teddy bear takes two hours, what she... I'll do the math. You do the math. Okay. <laughs> so if it takes two hours and one hour of her time is worth 20 bucks, how much should she charge for her time alone? That's $40. $40. Okay? Give me some heart. Okay. I'm just kidding. Remember in the last video, we said that if we are only paying ourselves for our time, all we're doing is breaking even. That's right. And we're not in business to break even. We're in business to make a profit. So not only do you need to be making a profit on the cake, you also need to be making a profit on the decorations. That's right. Now, very quickly, let's talk about the materials that are involved, the cost of materials to create cake decorations. Many of you, and I know from speaking to a lot of cake artists, you like to make your own gun paste and you make your own homemade marshmallow fondant because you're trying to save money on purchasing gum paste and wow. making fondant. But now that you've learned how to charge correctly for your work, okay, and, and you did the cake artist guide, and especially if you've done the webinar, you understand that time is money. Mm -hmm. So many of you have made gum paste and have made homemade uh, marshmallow fondant from scratch, and you know how extremely time consuming it is. So if you think that you're doing these things just to save money, you're actually not. If you look at the amount of time that you're spending you're making fondant time. and gum paste, it's actually costing you more money because it's costing you more time. So once you know how to charge correctly for your cakes and you know how to charge correctly for your decorations, you're going to see that it makes more sense. Now, of course, if you love it and you enjoy spending all of that time making gum paste and time away from your family, all of that stuff, <laughs> go for it. Okay, more power to you. But once you've learned how to charge for your work and you realize that it all comes down to the amount of time that you're spending, you're going to see that it really is not, it really doesn't make any sense to spend all of those hours when you can just very easily go out and buy gum paste or make gum paste the way we do. Right. Okay, by the way, we have an awesome tutorial on how <laughs> we make gum paste if you'd like to see it. Very easy, just right. fond Wilton fondant mixed with Tylos. And Arnie does it in just a few minutes. Just a boom, few boom, minutes. boom, boom. Just like that, okay? <laughs> you establish that the teddy bear is gonna take you two hours to hand sculpt. And if you're charging $20 per hour, if you feel one hour of your time is worth 20 bucks, that's $40. Mm -hmm. That's not all you're gonna charge for your decorations. That's just your break even point. Right. Okay, that is zero profit if you are only charging for your time. So, what we do in order to be able to make a profit, and to cover our expenses or out of pocket, because you know you're gonna have to make gum paste and buy the stuff to make the gum paste, what we do is a 50% markup. Remember guys, this is not your typical business. This and is don't not, freak out about that number. Yeah, that, I mean it's really not yeah. that much. So like we said guys, this is not your typical business where you just have to have a 15% profit margin or 20% profit margin. This is an artistic 
type of business. This is a custom cake business. People are seeking you out. Right. So if if we say 50% markup, what's 50% of $40? $20. 20 bucks. So now instead of charging only $40 for her time for the teddy bear, now she's going to charge $60 at least. Remember guys, the 50% markup on each decoration is just a minimum. What you should be charging minimum for your cake decoration. So if she marks up 50%, then the profit will be how much? $20. $20 profit. And out of that $20 profit will come out the tiny, tiny, minuscule amount <laughs> that of gum paste or whatever that it took her to make that decoration. Right. So again, guys, $60 minimum. And that's only if you are paying yourself $20 an hour, which, you know, cake artists should be paying themselves at least that much. Or more. Or, or more. Or much, much more. And again, as time goes by, as your skills improve, as your techniques improve, you as an artist have the right to charge more for your work. The even more, if you get faster. Even if you get faster. Remember, it's not about speed. The more in demand you become and, and the better your artistic skills become, the more right you have as an artist to charge for your work. You need to know what one hour of your time is worth. Look at the decoration and decide. How much time do I think it's going to take me to make that one decoration? If it's something you've never done before, then this is, you know, and I've gotten that question sure. a lot. How do you know what to charge if you've never done it before? That's if you point. have no idea how much time it's going to take, and that's an excellent question. Excellent. Being a cake artist and developing our skills and learning new techniques and new modeling techniques and all of that, it takes time. Do we charge perfectly for everything that yeah. we do? No, guys. It's a very regular thing that we do something for the very first time, and then when it's all said and done, at the we end of the day, we should charge more. Right at the end of the day, the way at the end of the day. says, okay, we realized we undercharged yep. because that thing took a lot more than we thought it was going to take. Okay, but again, we have to become very, very good at guesstimating, taking a really good, educated guess at what you feel or what you think something might take you to do. And the next thing we say after that is, if I have to do this again, I'm charging this much. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why I suggested, you know, a couple of videos back, have a little journal. Mm -hmm. Make notes, you know, when, especially when you're doing something for the very first time. Yeah. If you, you know, chances are somebody will order that thing again and make a note. You know, I thought this, I thought this teddy bear was mm -hmm. going to take me two hours, but it ended up taking me three hours. So now you know for the future. And it's all a learning process, okay? Right. If you undercharge, if you make a mistake, don't beat yourself up about it. Don't feel bad about it. It's all a learning process. That's why we said you can never say, as a cake artist right. or a sugar sculptor, I have arrived. No, you will <laughs> never arrive. Don't ever say, I've arrived. I, I she just no. arrived. <laughs> <laughs> we will never arrive. We are forever students and we're gonna be doing this till we're 125 Ooh. years old and uh, my beer is gonna be done again. <laughs> <laughs> and we will at that time if, if you guys are around okay <laughs> we're gonna be around if you guys are around you know we will be able to tell you every day we're still learning mm -hmm. new things dealing with different situations different types of clients different de designs techniques cakes everything everything is different that's what I love about this I'll still business. be asking you how to do something. Yeah, and I'll still be helping you. Yeah. And that's what I love about this business. It's never the same. And that's why we say, guys, yeah. it's impossible to price cakes, you know, and put up prices next to something because yeah. everything is different. Subject rarely. To change. Yeah. And rarely do people ever order exactly what's in the picture. Right. They want everything different. So remember, guys, what is one hour of my time worth? Do a really good job at guesstimating what you feel that decoration is going to take you to make, and you multiply that times what one hour of your time is worth. Then whatever that amount is, okay, to find out what you should be charging minimum for that decoration, you mark it up 50%. So in the little example, teddy bear is going to take two hours. She feels one hour of her time is worth $20, that's $40. 50% markup from that is another additional $20. So that cake artist should be charging a minimum of $60 for that little dog. Now, if you've done it many, many times and you have perfected, well, I can't say perfected, yeah. 
but you've really honed in on your sculpting skills and you know that that little topper that you're gonna make will be just beautiful, artistic, impeccable. Clean. You have the right to charge even more for your work. If you wanna bump it up to 70, 80, whatever. Again, you decide what you feel your work is worth. But if you wanna know the minimum that you should be charging for your decorations, again, guys, you gotta know what one hour of your time is worth and you have to get really good at figuring out what each type of decoration will take you to make, okay? Good. This kind of reminds me of that one client that we had here in town. Very, very sweet lady, you know, very nice lady, but again, guys, remember when people are asking you to create things for them, they have no idea what they're asking you to do because they've never done it themselves. So she ordered a little doggy cake topper or, oh, yeah. or was thinking about <laughs> ordering the little doggy cake topper. Remember that one that I you know sold? <laughs> And so I looked at the picture, it was a little clip art photo that she sent me. Real cute. Real cute, little doggy with polka dots and things yeah, like I that. It. So I, I knew that he would be able to do it, so I gave him the job. And so <laughs> when I quoted her the price, I told her that we could do it for $80, because I, I know you know the speed she, at which you, you work. You entrusted me. Right, I know what one hour of your time is worth, right? Thank you. What I say is worth, no, <laughs> So anyways, I quoted her $80, and it was a bit much for her. And so she told me, well, let me think about it for a couple of days and I'll, I'll get back to you. So she did call me back. Uh, actually, she didn't call, she, she texted me. Mm -hmm. And she said, I wanna go ahead and do it. Uh, go ahead and send me the invoice, but dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Is there any way that it could be $60 instead of $80? And so, you know, I, I told him the story and I texted her back and I said, yeah, sure, of course. Yeah, we can go ahead and do it for $60. It's gonna be missing two of its legs. So we can go ahead and do it for sixty dollars. So then she rolled back. She's like, "LOL, LOL, okay." And then she's like, "Okay, let's go ahead and do it." So again, guys, when people try and talk you down, it's because they don't understand the work that the goes into right. right. And again, as the sugar sculptor, as a cake artist, we have to put our foot down and we say, "This is the cost," you know. And if they say, "Well, I can go get it done cheaper somewhere else." Certainly. <laughs> Go for it. Yes, I agree with you. I know you can. Yeah. I know for a fact for a you fact. can. You know, $85 for an Elmo, $85 for my, my Elmo. Elmo. Well, I, I saw somebody on Etsy doing them for 20 bucks. Go for it. Go ahead and get. Go ahead and buy it for $20. Let's see what you get. Right. But let's see what you get. Remember, you guys all know this. You get what you pay for. Okay? You get what you pay for. Again, guys, you determine what you feel one hour of your time is worth. You figure out the amount of work that is involved in creating each decoration, and then you mark it up 50%, and that is your minimum, that is your base price for each decoration. Now, some of you might be saying, well, my sculpting skills aren't that good yet. You know, is it okay if in the meantime, I charge less or I don't charge that much just to get experience or just until I get good? Guys, remember, your time is still worth what it's worth, whether your sculpting is good or not, again, if you want to give away your time for free, that is your choice. Mm -hmm. If you're telling me that your sculpting skills are not that good yet, then all I can tell you is get good, yeah. get better, get better. Okay, remember if the client wants to order from you, they have to pay you for your time. And chances are they've already seen your work. And chances are they've seen your work, exactly, if they're gonna order from you. Now, if you can honestly say, well, my sculpting isn't that good, it's very easy, guys, to just find a little bit of extra time every week and cultivate your sculpting and your modeling techniques. Okay, what does cultivate mean? It means to improve and refine. And this is something that, you know, happens throughout time. That's true. It happens, you know, throughout your entire career. If you know your work is good, you should be charging correctly for your work. And if you know that your work is lacking, you should still be charging for your time. And if you say, well, I really don't think I should be charging that self-doubt, get rid of it. Right. So, and this is a comment and a question that I've gotten in just about every video. Is it okay if in the meantime, while I'm learning, <laughs> is it okay if in the for meantime, right now. <laughs> while, while I'm getting better, is it okay if I still do free cakes for friends and family? Is it okay if I charge half of what you're saying just until it, no guys, it's never okay to give your work away for free. Again, if you want to, that is your decision. But if you want our good and sound advice, charge for your time, charge for your work. Why do we tell you this? Because 
the more and more and more that you give away your time, the more and more and more that you give away your work for free, the more used to it you're going to get. And the more often you're going to do it. And then you're just going to find yourself back in that hole, back in that situation where you're constantly undercharging and selling yourself short. It's just a bad habit. And the next thing you know, it's 10 years later. And you realize that all of this time you've been giving away your work for free yeah. and nothing ever changed. You never did anything differently. They didn't like you any more than that. They didn't, yeah. And so <laughs> this is why we tell you, don't ever give away your work for free so that you can get in the habit, the habit. of always charging for your work, never giving away your time for free. Don't do cakes just for practice. Always charge for your work. So if you're, if you tell me, you know, my sculpting is not that good. I don't think that I can charge that much. Yes, you can. Just change the way you think. It, it, you tell your brain what to think. Mm -hmm. Don't let your brain tell you what to think. If I'm telling That's you good. that you can, you can. And if your work is not that good, practice. Get good so that the work justifies the prices. I mean, of course, you can't charge $80 for an Elmo that looks like a red snowman. I mean, it's got to yeah. look like Elmo. You know what I mean? That's a good point. So what do I have to say to you? Improve. Improve your craft and your skills. Okay? Get to the point where you're so good at doing what you do that you set yourself apart from every other cake artist. That's good. Bring something totally different to the table than what any other cake artist can bring. That is what's going to bring the clients. That's what's going to bring the business. And the more and more you practice, the more your skills will naturally develop. It's just a natural thing. Yep. The more you do it, the better it's like you're gonna working get. Out. It's working out. Like when you went to your uh, what re reunion? <laughs> when was I it? went to my 30-year class reunion. Yeah, high he, he had just started helping me make decorations, and he went to his 30-year high school reunion. Dang, 30 years! Come on now. 30-year <laughs> high school reunion, and all his his old buddies were telling him. No, they were. I was giving hugs and stuff, and. What they say? They say, man, you've been working out? Yeah. <laughs> they said, no, just making decorations out of gum paste. Just rolling out yeah. gum paste and... You got, it takes elbow grease, it takes work, it takes a lot of hours, you know? And so, just get better, guys. Hone in on your skills, improve, find your niche, find your artistic niche. And that is what's going to set you guys apart. That's what gives you the right to charge for your work. And those of you that have struggled for a while with your sculpting, don't get discouraged. Do not get discouraged. It took us quite a bit of time to get good at what we're doing. We want to just give a quick example. This is a really cute cake and we're going to have the picture pop up here on the screen. This is a cake that we just did. This, I loved it. This last week. Now you know why we weren't able to post a video last <laughs> week because we were so busy doing this cake. If you take a look at this cake picture here, okay, this is a really cute trolls cake that we did this weekend. And if a client sends you this picture and they tell you that they want to order this cake from you, what do you do? How do you figure out the quote? And we're going to go more in detail in next sure. week's video. But again, you're going to first mentally remove all of the decorations off of the cake. And so you guys already know how to come up with a quote for a cake. This is just a fondant covered cake. You know what your base price is and you know what you're charging per serving for the cake itself. But this is not what this video is about. We're gonna talk about the decorations. How do you know what to charge? So now you're gonna go ahead and take a look at each decoration. And you don't have to, you know, I had people, I had a person ask me, well, do you give someone a quote right then and there on the phone? If you can, you do it. If it's something that you can do very quickly. If it's a picture like this that you have to take a look at and think analyze about it, it yeah. analyze it for a few minutes, nothing wrong with telling the client, give me a few minutes, I'll put a quote together for you and I'll call you right back. That so, actually sounds more professional you because you're taking the time to do right. that. And so you take a look at this picture and look at each decoration, the name plaque that you made. Thank okay? you. Okay, very beautiful baby, good job. Appreciate and Arnie actually made almost all of the decorations on this cake, okay? <laughs> so the plaque, okay, how long is that plaque going to take me to make? It's a 2D plaque, so you figure out, okay, how much time is that going to take me? How much time do you think that that plaque took you to make? An hour and a half. Okay, about an hour and a half. So if you think it's going to take you an hour and, and a half to That's from make, start to dusting. From start to dusting, start to finish. Now, if you guys are doing things on and off, on and off, on and off, Keep track of your time right. and keep track of your time when you're doing something so that you know how to charge correctly for it the next time. He says an hour and a half. Now you know how much to charge for this plaque. Whatever you are paying yourself per hour, you're going to multiply that times an hour and a half 
and then you're gonna mark it up 50%. That is your minimum. So let's just say that you are a cake artist that is only charging $20 per hour for okay. your time. 20, plus that's one hour, one hour, plus the half hour would be 10 Another bucks, 10. Yeah. right? That's $30. And if you mark it up half, now you should be charging minimum for that plaque, $45. Correct. But again, we use our artistic discretion. We look at the plaque and we say, it's a beautiful plaque. We know we can do it. Or I know that Arnie can do it even better than that. So what did I say, 45? 45 is okay, right Okay, so if no, I no. want to, if I want to, I could say, you know what? I'm gonna charge $60 yeah. for that plaque. Cause I know I can do a really good job and I don't think that many other people here in town will be able to make that plaque just as beautiful. And again, guys, these are just numbers that we're throwing out there, okay? We, we pay ourselves more than that, but again, if you're just starting out, every cake artist should not be paying themselves less than $20 an hour. Look at the number six. You look at it, very good job, baby. Thank you. These decorations are beautiful. So again, you look at that, how long is that gonna take me to make? Whatever that is, you multiply that by what you feel one hour of your time is worth, and you mark it up 50%, that will be the minimum that you charge for that decoration, and so on and so forth. You look at all the little decorations, the flowers, the leaves. I love my little flowers, they came out so cute. These really <laughs> cute big pink flowers that you made at the bottom, all of them. Now, even if you do them quickly, right? they're still And so as you're, as you're looking at the picture that the client sent you, you're making a really quick list of each decoration and how much you're gonna charge for each decoration. And then you start to add it all up. Then you add up that cost to the cost of the cake that you already figured out what that's gonna cost. The and that is the total, cake. yeah, the font mm -hmm. and covered cake. And that is the total cost. Now look at things like handmade toppers. Okay, this, uh, what's Ooh. her name, Poppy? Poppy. Princess Poppy. She was pretty big. She came out to being over nine inches tall and it took me a very considerable amount of time to do. Now I had never made her before. So this is a perfect example mm -hmm. of how do you quote for something that you've never done before. So I've sculpted many, many toppers, but not many that are this intricate and this top heavy because of the gigantic head and, and huge the, the head. huge, um, the huge hair. hair. Okay. So if I'm looking at this for the first time and I'm going to guesstimate, I, I can realistically look at this topper and say that this is gonna take me at least a minimum of 15 hours sculpting this, this little girl because of the amount of detail. And that is not really overshooting. Probably it took me longer no, than that, that to do. Yeah. So if I'm a cake artist and I'm only paying myself $20 an hour and I'm going to guesstimate that it's gonna take me 15 hours. Say it took you 20. Let's say 15, okay. okay? 15 times $20 an hour, that's $300. Wow. And a 50% markup is what? 150. Okay, so this topper I should be charging how much for? 450. 450 Minimum. dollars. Minimum. Minimum. Now, if the client has a heart attack or a seizure, when you mention 450 for that topper, then that's when you let them know, well, maybe we can do something else. 2D, an edible image. If they cannot afford to pay you for your time, and for your materials and all of that to create this topper, then that's not your client or you need to help them arrive at a simpler design that doesn't involve you spending half of your week practically mm -hmm. creating a 3D topper. That's right. Again, guys, this is just a really short version of how to charge for your cake decorations. If you need more help than this, again, my suggestion is for you to register for our cake pricing webinar where we really, really break down each individual cake artist. I look at each person's cake, each person's decorations. Yeah. I look at the level that you're at as far as sculpting and, and you know decorating your cakes and the cakes themselves and all of that. Not to mention all the ideas that are shared. Right, exactly. But this is, again, guys, just a, a very quick uh, method of knowing how to charge for your decorations. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever pertaining to this video, dealing with different types of decorations, now would be a wonderful time to go ahead and leave your comment and your question. We'll go ahead and answer all of those questions in next week's video. And we wanna thank everybody for participating. Thank you for your awesome questions, your awesome comments. And remember guys, we're registering for our May 28th cake pricing webinar. Go ahead and check out the link underneath the video so you can register for that and also if you haven't yet don't forget to purchase your cake artist guide this is step number one to being on the right Very track important. and learning how to charge correctly for your work all right guys we love you guys thank you so much we look forward to reading your comments and please join us on our social media as well we'd love to see you there you can find the links underneath the video 
and we'll see you guys next week. We'll see you again. Bye-bye. Okay. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.